Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are taking a look at gaming as well as benchmarks of the Intex Aqua Speed. Now it comes with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage for about rupees 7500. Comes in direct competition with the Redmi 2, Moto E, and the Lenovo A6000 at this price point. Coming to the specs, it features a 4.5 inch QHD IPS display, MediaTek MT6582M MediaTek quad core processor, Mali 400 MP2 GPU. 2 gigs of RAM and out of the 16 gig about 13 gigs of internal storage. It is expandable. You have a 8 megapixel rear, 5 megapixel front facing camera, 1700 milliamp hour battery and a plethora of sensors including a magnetic field sensor. Now we got a score of 19309 on Antutu comparable to the Redmi 2 higher than the Moto E and we got a Nena Mark 2 score of 54.6 FPS a very good score over here. Now we got 7139 on Quadrant, which is quite a bit less than the competition. 1758 on Velamo, very good score. 766 on Metal. Now, again, these are very good score for this price point, and in general, to this phone performs quite well. We have a 5 point multi touch display over here. Now, let's start with the gaming. The first game we are playing is Subway Surfers. Now, Subway Surfers is a fast paced game, although it's not that graphically detailed. And here, I don't notice any lag. Smooth gameplay. Moreover, being an IPS panel, this display has good color reproduction. Now we are playing Riptide GB2 and here too smooth gameplay. Now the graphics do seem a little jagged. It's not the pixel perfect or sharpest display available within this price bracket. You have HE displays on most other phones apart from the Moto E. Now we are playing Temple Run 2. Smooth gameplay here as well. The display has very wide viewing angles. I don't see any major distortion in brightness or colors when you tilt it. Now we are playing Frontline Commando D-Day. While panning across, I do notice a slight hint of lag. That's very slight, barely noticeable. Now the speakerphone on the Aqua Speed could have been slightly louder as well. Now we are playing Dead Trigger 2. Again smooth gameplay here. I don't notice any lag in this game till now. I haven't noticed any frame drop till now either. Consistent frame rates. Overall very smooth gameplay. Now this phone gets a little hot while playing games. It's not that much of a bother, but yes, it does get a bit hot. But apps and app data are movable to the external storage, so you can install as many games as you want. And that's a goal right there. Now we are playing FIFA 15. So you can throw at it the latest games that are available right now and all play quite well. I haven't noticed any lag in gameplay on FIFA 15 either. Very smooth gameplay, good touch response as well. And the display has good color reproduction. It does appear quite sharp. Not the sharpest, but definitely quite sharp. This display is definitely better than that of the Moto E. Now 2 gigs of RAM is quite a lot for multitasking as well. And I haven't closed down any of the apps while playing games. Now we are playing Shadow Gun. A third person shooter and here too smooth gameplay. Consistent frame rates in all the games that I've tried. There have been a little lag here and there but that's very minor. The display performs well. The touch response is good over here. Now we are playing Modern Combat 5 and here I do notice slight lag right from the start. I can notice that while moving around, while panning across, using the sniper scope. There is slight hint of lag over here. It's very slight but I haven't noticed any frame drops till now. So gameplay still remains smooth and these are definitely playable frame rates. It's not that low that you won't be able to play games. As I've said earlier, apps and app data both are movable to the external storage. So plenty of space available over here. You have already a 16 gig ROM on this phone. 
Now we are playing Asphalt 8 in high settings. And surprisingly, no lag whatsoever over here. Now this phone is actually performing far better than I expected. Any game that you throw at it, it plays it well. Plenty of RAM available out of that 2 gig. Plenty of space to install more games as well. Display performs well, good color reproduction over here. The speakerphone should definitely have been a little louder and that's the only concern that I have. It's not very low in volume but it should have been slightly louder. But smooth gameplay nonetheless. Now this is the last game of our review, it's Nova 3 and I don't notice any lag right from the start. Haven't noticed any frame drops till now either. Consistent frame rates over here as well. Now folks, let's wrap it up. So for about Rs. 7500, this phone performs quite well in gaming. I do see a little bit of lag now. So if you play games for a long duration, yes, it might lag slightly. To conclude, the Redmi 2 performs better at gaming, but the Intex Aqua Speed is better at its display and gaming than the new Moto E. We'll be back with more. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. It really helps. If you have any questions about this or any other device, just hit us in the comment section. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.